Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Kinney Out and About. Where we're doing a home style cooking for you today, guys. We're doing a far rice. Um, I'm following the recipe from the recipe from Anne. It's an amazing far rice. I had it by her. I have it on 3D flavor as well. I'll we'll be posting in 3D flavor in a short recipe done by her. And this recipe done by me on this side, right? On Kinney Out and About. So we're doing some of the Anne's famous far rice. Some potato salad and Caribbean style stew chicken. Stew chicken. So it's an amazing home style cooking guys done by yours truly Mr. Nakapot. So let's get to this amazing recipe. Let's go on Naka Papa. Right, so here we have the chicken now. We're going to start a season the chicken the stew. So it have a chick one large broilers here. A white chicken we're gonna know. Yeah, there's some green seasoning to it. Regular season, all the season we just add. Some sazon, sazon tropical. We add in some salt. We add in some maggi, all purpose. And my, let's add some oyster sauce to it. And mix it out with a little water. We're going to mix up, we add in some garlic, onion, tomatoes, and half a scotch bonnet pepper. We add in some pimento to it. Some minced pimento that's in the freezer I had. And we're mixing up everything here now. That's how I season for my stew chicken. everything you will be having this home guys you're going out on a day trip a day a, a road trip so we're cooking home we're showing the recipe we're cooking home and the other vlog you will see where we're eating it how it tastes how it looks all right so you season the chicken it's so nice the chicken come out there and this tomato i had in the freezer when you get tomato cheap i just cut it in quarters and put it in a bag in the freezer when you have to use it knock it up Let's get a little shake up and it is detached from itself and it's easy to cut up after, right? In quarters and it is stored in the freezer when they get tomato cheap. And right now in Trinidad, that tomato is cheap right now, like five pounds for twenty dollars. Right, so you saw this look. An amazing colour. Right, so we're gonna start with the rice now. We're gonna share for the far rice, the potato and the eggs. Alright, so here we're gonna add the potato to the water now. Let the potato peel about seven large potato cut up in cubes. We add in the potato. I say the potato salad. We add in some eggs. Right? We add in the eggs at one time. There's the pot leaking on the. Very nut. Yeah, the stud. For the eggs to boil, and we add any carrots in here to boil as well, right? And we'll just take all the eggs, so everything boiling. One for the potato salad. Now for the rice, we add in some salt here. Right? We add another salt in the sun all as well. And we had the rice washed already, two cups and a half for using. Wash already. This only boiling for about ten minutes. If not boiling, to the full, the full time as a normal regular rice if you're having rice with something for rice you boil it a little grainy I might have to go in the wok and the cook it will come down a lot um, it, it, it will swallow nearly to the regular size right so we have to check the bottom of the stew chicken we're going to pop here I'm not going to just rice out of it Alright guys, so we're going to add the sugar now to the pot. And I just stir it out oil, but I just stir it a little oil today. We're adding the sugar here. That's about probably about two pots of sugar, should be more than enough. 
Ai, já vi raiz. Tu não vi raiz, é? So this is an egg chicken for rice we're making. Just like our aunt make it, we're making it just like that. Or with my little twist on it, right? We will show you the mixture for the far rice, how we're doing it. Um, the mixture is all over for the chili flavor. I should fall the chili flavor. We got a lot of the short recipes. Right, the um, recipes in a short video if you're just looking for the, the recipe alone. Right, and the training out about you get the full step by step without any cutting. So the sugar is all in the chicken. Come on this side of the sugar, we mix in the mixer for the um honey. This are the carrots in it. So we add in some oyster sauce. Black pepper. No. It's about a half teaspoon of black pepper. Some dark soy sauce. This is dark mushroom flavor, dark soy sauce. Alright, we add a more um, oyster sauce to it. We add some Chinese seasoning. This is red dragon Chinese seasoning. Just about a, about a tablespoon average. Right, and we add in a little tip of the fry spice. Chinese seasoning. This is about half teaspoon. And you mixing up this. You can put any MSG in the red dragon already have those kind of flavors in it. Alright, so this is how you mix it. Mix there for the this is for the far rice, right? This is to add to the pot for the far rice. So I'll just add a little water to it and use it for the bottle. Right, so this is the far rice we're making. Right, so we'll leave this here um, until we're ready to the next step for the far rice. So let's come back on this chicken here. Right, so we'll leave this here for the next step for the far rice. Then the mango is acting on all the necessary cooking. Everybody has necessary cooking. This is a nice lunch, a lunch recipe, especially for a Sunday or holiday. Amazing recipe for a Sunday or holiday. I should have a light here now. You know why too dark brown? So this is a large, large chicken. This is about so we close to eight dollars in the chicken, PT. And it's like fifteen dollars a pound dead weight for this charge here. So I can I can realize probably about a six, seven pound chicken, six and some about five and something pounds, sorry. Dead weight, which is a big chicken. Hmm. Alright, so let me fill up everything here. <laughs> oh, nice color already. So this should be just good when it finish. So cover down this in low heat. Then let it release the old water. We got all water to this and add it back to the pot. Uh, when it's at a bubble, right? Uh, this is the add up when the chicken inside the bubble a little bit. I don't want to add too much water to it right now, right? You have to keep checking this rice because you don't want this rice too soft. Agree, it has to be grainy, um, close to hard, like grainy, grainy. And then when it's at a cook on the wok now, then you will see how it swell out today because if you cook it, to the regular size, like when it's cooked, when it's cooking normal rice and something. When it, by the time you do it in the wok, it will come out too, like too fat, too thick. It will come out too mushy with the far rice, right? So you want kind of a little grainy far rice or nothing too, too grainy. So let us boil a little bit, probably about five minutes again, we'll go check it back. The potato and um, 
You put it on eggs and carrot boil in here. This is the white potato we use. Um, so this should boil real fast. It boil fast than the yellow potato. I so what the mine when I since I cook it right. And we have the chicken breast here for the for the fried rice. We have four four eggs I use here. So let me go inside the season up this now for the fried rice. So we are in some sazon. A bit of green seasoning. Right, I wouldn't add any um another black pepper. They don't have black pepper in here already. So this is some chicken breast side that's cut up. Um you could use anything you want to use. If you want to use some liver, chicken liver, chicken gazelle, whatever you want to use, you could use that. We are not marketed. Let's see with this. Let's go with the eggs. And I want to show you how we are cut up for the fire rice now. Daddy, I want to put an egg. Okay. So here we use some pimento, about four pimentos. Or three pimentos. A small cauliflower. Chip really fine. And the carrots we didn't cut up in quarters, but we grate the carrot. This is how Anne did it. She grate the carrot. Right? Um, She, she grate the carrots and this is how we're using it here like this right so we're going to use this this is how we're going to put the uh, olive thing to the fried rice <laughs> right so when the rice coming off and the potato and the chicken we'll put the fried rice now all right guys so we cut it up some onion and garlic for the for the fried rice I don't want men's garlic, so I just cut enough some clue I have in the fridge. Mommy! 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 Turn up. Excellent color there right now. Perfect color. Right. Right, so it's a strain. I didn't add any more water to it. It just about probably about seven minutes the rice was boiling extra for. Right, it's all grainy but not soft. Right, so we're gonna just try to clean off here a little bit. Want some cold water in it. Cool water that's kind of stiffen it back a little bit. And take all the stickiness of the rice, right? Now if you had a rice cooker, um, the one we did at Trini flavor was a uh, jasmine and a uh, jasmine for rice, right? But we're doing, uh, we're doing regular parboil rice. So put this to strain a little bit and she had cook it in the rice cooker. Right, so see the rice all grainy and nice. Perfect, right? So we got transfer we still chip into here. Show you little room, little room for the walk. And we're gonna start with the walk part then over the forest. Right, so I'm gonna show you everything we have now for the forest so we're gonna start with. Because I know you get peace peas just now. So here we have the onion and pimento. We have the great carrots and cauliflower chip finely, three pimento, boneless chicken breast, the eggs, some minced garlic cloves, the sauce mixture, the sauce, and we have some celery, fresh celery cut up anything. We walk up here, so we're going to start with the walk, right? We add in some cooking oil. Another sesame oil. The sesame oil is more for the top out the top of the top of the of our rice. But that authentic Chinese flavor, right? So we are in the onion and pimento now. We are 
we got a clues here. The men's garlic, right? I added the eggs on the side here. I right, should use a flat pot so everything was together real nice. Um, so separate little corners. I'll right, be adding some chicken, the chicken breast here. And everything kind of cook easily. Go it along, right? Sticky time and cook. Let me check the chicken. My favorite part. Chicken, chicken boiling nice. We didn't add any water to it. That's the own water the meat let go. No, no, but the meat, no, the little, little bit of half cup, but the, most of the water is where the moisture from the, the water from the meat itself. The potato coming up nicely here. Right, they're looking like it nearly finished boil already. Yeah, what a little five minutes again, five to ten minutes again. Boil in here. I'll get a chicken out too. My chicken breast cut in small, small little, small like little dices, so that will cook real fast. And I want to kind of get the air scrambled, right? You don't want the eggs too, too chunky, too chunky. You want kind of fine on it, um, chip fine, right? Right, so the eggs and the leaves can just cook there. So we try to see why it's cooking now here more. So let's pull this on the side. With the onion, the garlic, the cemento. And the chicken. This food you cooking, you're going in an amazing hidden gem spot, right? And the same food, but just the. I just wanted to show you this recipe, I've never done this before. Here, I don't think you have a potato salad. So that's what we're doing here, but we're going in a hidden gem, um, a hidden gem place, as Lyndon Batiste say. Uh, like, like, I have a map for a hidden gem in Trinidad. So it's a beautiful place, guys, amazing. Not hard to go, it cannot access my vehicle. This one is a little hike involved in it. No, but the trail is a flat trail. trail is a flat trail because Mama went on the trail already. It's a very simple trail. So you go, you go look out for that vlog after. You'll see we eat any food after in that vlog. And you'll see how it look. Right, so we just have slender for here to go. Right, so they call it chicken here now. Chicken, a little bit. The onions are thin. And the chicken still releasing a little water. So you kind of all our fresh water out from the chicken, right? So guys, if you add this with jasmine rice, and I love jasmine rice, so jasmine rice is our favorite to me. Try jasmine rice. Right, so let us cook that about a little three minutes again. And then we're going in with the cauliflower, the pimento, the carrots, then the sauce, and we'll show you how that goes. Alright, so here now, the chicken will incorporate the chicken with the eggs, the onions. So nice everything look here now. So as I say, in the cooking, they don't have to be, how to keep like a hundred percent separate from each other. 
let's work everything mixing in one either side so it don't really make a difference. We add in the carrot, the cauliflower and the pimento. Guys, don't believe how the great carrot tastes in our fries. They're amazing. Right, and the reason we cook, the reason we cook the, um, the onions and the sauce fried up properly because that will could spoil the food very easy. And also if you put in sweet pepper and all, make sure you fry and take all that moisture from the sweet pepper. And when you're cleaning the onions, make sure and take all the core from the onion. So that will spoil the food really fast, right? People know you, I know you probably say you can cook the onion, the fry the onion will spoil fast. No. Because when you cook, when you have the core in the onion, that will spoil the food real fast. Right, so here we have the mixture now. I right, the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, the Chinese seasoning. Um, the fried spice, the Chinese red dragon Chinese seasoning, and the black pepper and all that thing. Pop it everything in all the work. I want a little higher heat now. Yeah. I don't need to come on now. Now come on the soap. Yeah, no, my mouth is watering. You're still too sure? Alright, so let's kind of frap a little bit here. And then we we'll add the rice, and that's it. It's amazing Paris, guys. You need to try it. So, you take all the, so when you're doing this now, you're taking all the eggs first. Right? You're putting it in an order bowl. You take all that bowl with ice and shock the eggs. Put the shell out easy. Right? And, um, and then we're going to strain the potato and the carrots. We're going to make the rice there. First. If you add a little bit of soy sauce so again, you can add a little bit to the end. See how all the rice coming into a perfect color. It's a good bit of we going so. It's probably more meat than rice now, it's more rice than meat. Look at that for more meat than rice. <laughs> See, without all that, it's a full flicker like come out. You don't want to add no more sauce? Nah, just um. I might if you use the light soy sauce, you would have to add a lot more soy sauce if you use the light one. Mm -hmm. But the dark one, you wouldn't have all that much. Add to add, right? Right, so all you do is just taste the little Chinese seasoning. Top it off with a little sesame oil. It is in here. It is in here. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. It's a nice great color, so can it? I'm going to put this all the Chinese seasoning in a little. No taste too. 
Thank you so much. Ja, four plus one. Good mission. I don't think I'm missing anything. Are you trying to season again? Mm-hmm. Ah. I'm trying to taste something to taste that food, eh? No price. No. You're talking about taste. Ah. Why you be so rude? Now you see what you know, this rice there? Ah, that's not a bit of it, yeah? Yeah, I'll have the Chinese seasoning again. Give me no chicken, boy. See, boy, you rice grain, and what's still fluffy come out? So, you can rice can come down a little early again still. It is on Good? Mm-hmm. I'll throw some rice and take a runny bowl and little remain that. Just this is better. Good enough. Perfection. So this was the side we taste first, this is the next side. Yeah. No taste in that, eh? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm, well perfect because you ain't all that one. <laughs> Alright, so let us rice cool off a bit for the store. Any pot? I don't want to store it too hot. By the time the chicken sell out the cook, honey. I'll try the chicken. Very nice color. So we're going to leave the cover off a bit now, let the water go down. We're going to take out the potato. We're going to take out the egg first. Right? And then we go straight the potato with the carrots and start the next procedure for me. And you didn't forget to add the celery. You add in some fresh celery to it. I don't have any sides, so I will not add any sides. Alright, so you add the celery to it. You have a side with scallion, or that'd be real nice to go net and all. I do have not, and I know I don't make a problem with something I do have. We work it with, we work with what we have. That is the same. I'm sorry, just add a nice flavor inside. Right, so see the color idea. I did final product oil look. Perfect, and so nice the cauliflower and cut real small in it. Can't go wrong. Knock a cut, knock a walk. Hi right, guys, so we're going to see what the potato now. Right, we are in cold water. He doesn't want to call the eggs. Okay, I'm going to eggs up on that because six, six. Three. To here, but good. So, right, you just have a little two minutes. I strain the tonic egg, they sell. Said, make it up. No, six, unless you train at shower. Without my Right, so let us cool off here. You start to see what the eggs, you show the easy peeling technique for the eggs and all. Right, I have it already there, and a lot of people are going to look at new subscribers not looking at the older video, but you remember you can go to the bottom of the channel 
And they click on the channel itself, go to the channel, and they will see playlists where we did all the cooking recipes and things, right? This chicken looking nice color. Perfect color. And the summer days taste so Right, so let me. By the time it's cooling off here, so that's pretty really tempting to peel, right? Oh, yeah, spoon. Right, so let's crack, push our spoon, and let's peel up real easy. Right? Really easy technique, guys. And the cool water, the shock it says, help take out the separate the shell from the egg itself faster at a boiling point. Eh? And remember, if you have a problem putting eggs to boil and it cracking when they put it in the hot water, it's because if you have cold eggs from the fridge and they put it into hot water, it does crack the eggs, right? So if you know you have to boil eggs, put it at the water from the start point when they put the water in the now to boil from the top. And as you put it to boil, you add the eggs one time and it, it wouldn't crack, right? So, all these are different techniques in boiling eggs. So, the whole shell come out by itself there. Or the whole shell here. So don't feel like start the shell, real easy to shell and a little, little technique on it, right? See? Pass. Right? So we're going to cut up the eggs and cut in little dices they now. Right? Cutting it. Cut the little dices now. It's the potato salad, right? All right, so that's how we cutting it. We're gonna finish cut up this, and we're showing the mixing where we add the mix now to the. All right, guys, so the chicken come on the top point. We add in a tablespoon of um, salt butter, right? And then that salt butter cook down in the, the great frying in the oil there now in the chicken. So the last water they fry down in that, right? So what we add into this now is the celery and some ketchup in the end, right? But let us cook down for two minutes, right? And the salad will let you go by the salad. Right, so here we have the potato and the carrots. We have the eggs here. We have the eggs there. We have some sugar. A little normal brown sugar. So about two, two tablespoons. Right, the only sugar, sugar kind of dissolve or the potato a little hot on it, right? Right, you remember you could add green peas, the sweet peas to this if you want. You can add the corn, the curd, the canned corn if you want, but we don't like those things. Why, if you ain't like them things, so I ain't gonna add it. Right, all the canned corn in it? Right. Nope. It's a little canned corn. So it don't make sense to waste the canned corn for that because we just use the canned corn for soups and then. 
so we go waste it. But you could add your sweet peas and corn it. Little extra colors, extra little. You know, little nice and look. And you could add corn in the fire rice too. Yeah, you can add corn to the fire rice and all. Right, so we add in one full pot spoon here. May we add? Right, and we have mix up this here now. You could add less meal if you like, you could add more if you like. It's according to how how you like it, how you like with the potato salad, right? Right, so that is more than enough meal, eh? Yeah, and I'll celery. Now we are in our black pepper here. Now we are in some celery. I feel like I add a little too much mayo. No, 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 the nice, creamy and nice. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's dry. Dry, too dry, yeah, correct. I need a little more black pepper. You want to add it? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't fine here, so. And one of the main ingredients. Oh, no, 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 no. A little mustard. Oh, no. I know whoever buy potato salad, they sell a little yellow. Look, and a yellowish look no, it. No, I want to store it. Right? I can't store it. No, you're too heavy for you to turn, baby. Uh, you go hold my hand. Can you go hold your hand? Mm -hmm. Right? So let me mix up this. The chicken going in here. Come on, the chicken, eh? Hot water with chicken. I was smelling chicken. Chicken is a sticker. I like to cook in hot water, guys, from ever since. Guys, I remember we had the grill plate on sale, right? Um, for the grilled chicken, we do have grilled chicken recipe back. I'll show you guys. Trust me, don't lie no mama guy, you can't go wrong with that real quick. Alright, so the chickens are in the mashup, that's why I don't like to cook a big chicken, but they just hold the pot and shake. Alright, so we add into this now, we add some celery. And if you add some side here, add some side too. You could add some carrots in the stew if you like. Carrots, um, red beans, all these things you can add if you like and all, right? Right? Right, so when it's come down a little bit, you don't take it already. Add a little ketchup. Make one pot spoon of ketchup. And finish it off here, and that's it. So let this boil up a little bit. The sauce already take, I might add a water again because you need a little sauce, right? So I'm gonna take off this, turn off the stove. It's going and pull down to no sauce. And you want to do the fire rice a little bit. So let us boil a little bit here now. You turn on this and go back on the potato salad. I need a little mustard added. Yes, I like potato salad. It is. Yeah. It's more than good. She's single too. She's Perfect. Alright guys, so this is the final product of the food of it look. The far rice, the chicken, potato salad. Amazing how it was getting. Mine going through. You could, you could it was up really. Mm -hmm. Let's see me location change. Yeah, but what are people who is asking? When you cook home? No, when you cook home. Oh yeah. So let me go in a different location, go eat. Let me pull in now eating here after some hours. But I'm only eating potato salad. How did you say that? Huh? She like yeah, she my mother made the best potato salad. <laughs> yeah, but she eats potato salad, eh? Yeah, she likes it. That pepper sauce is the best pepper sauce ever. Yeah, boy. No competition. Better than Bertie's too. Bertie's got touch me pepper sauce. And I really like Bertie's, eh? And look who's talking. You see? And Bertie's got well nice pepper sauce. I tell you if I bottle this and sell. 
Yeah, you'll make money. I'm making a meal. You know what you need, my papa sauce? Look trouble now. I'm about to make like this and do it. This is a fork, you know? That's why I just pay. So I'm going to make some papa sauce after that. I'm going to make some papa sauce after that. Let them come in. And let me know who will buy it. You know what you need, my papa sauce? See for yourself. It's amazing. I don't have a piece of pepper to try it. I know after yeah. effects with my pepper sauce. None. No. None no at all, I tell you. So what do you need? I think I want that thanks. You want anything to drink? Yeah. So the rest of me, use the microphone. So the roll in the whole cooler. What? But we're looking for. Pay. Pay. Oh, but right in the back there. No, look right there, what? And it's the block bag. I'll you water. How water? Thanks. I'll take a water trouble. No. Water trouble. No. Water trouble. 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 I take rice, but I feel like I'm going to spoon. I'm going to spoon rice. I'm going to spoon rice. But they want to eat No line, no mama guy. A little bit of green and we'll go and post up here. How many peppers are you doing? Boss. I give you a little bit of green and some food. You get a little bit, I get a bottle. I get a small bottle. I get a small bottle. I get a small bottle. I'm not sure. 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 I'm no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, Papa and I'm upset, Papa and Mama. Mm -hmm. upset, so you have to now, yeah? Mm -hmm. But they're not good, they said. 100. No, they sure don't like no Mama, guy, yeah? I don't like bland food. Huh? Yes. Yeah. They put on more than yeah. more than this. Flavor. Uh -huh. It's seasonal. It's everything right up. Mr. Nock, I'm about to cook them. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So. So. That's the end of the show here. Turn your turn about. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, guys. Right? Um, until next edition, knock up.